I've been through five spiritual awakenings during my lifetime so far, and I wanted to share those experiences over a series of videos coming up here, talking about how I was at the time and how uh, the awakening felt at the time, and then also what came out of it afterwards. Um, I wanted this to be inspiration for a lot of people who've gone through spiritual awakenings, thinking that maybe this is uh, the end and I know everything now and there's nothing more to learn. Uh, of course, the themes of my videos and my books are lifelong learning. And every time that I've had a spiritual awakening, it's opened up a new door to a new set of learning. The first of these awakenings happened when I was 14 years old. As I've said before, I grew up in a very strict Catholic family. My father was a deacon, and his brother was a priest from the age of 18. So I got a very close look at uh, the Catholic Church. You know, went to church every Sunday with my, my family. And what struck me over time was how the teachings that were taught in the church were not what happened outside the church. In the parking lot, there would be fights right before church, uh, people arguing, yelling at each other, even parents hitting their children, and then they go into church and they're all holy. <clears throat> As a very inquisitive person and uh, a logical person um, who grew up to be an engineer, this really bothered me. I couldn't understand how at one moment the, the preacher is talking about uh, God in heaven and uh, Jesus and his forgiveness and then another half an hour later you know talking about politics over over coffee after church or talking about how they don't like their neighbors or whatever it just was hypocritical what this did for me is uh, it still forced me since I was living at home to go to church every Sunday but what I was doing was going to different churches, trying to find out one of the teachings that these different churches, Baptists, uh, Methodists, whatever it was, maybe they were teaching something better. Maybe they were acting better than the people in the church that I went to. By the time I got out of college, I had been to 18 different religions because in college I started looking at Hinduism and, and Buddhism and uh, in the end, it just Buddhism just felt so logical and, and yeah, just loving um, all the teachings of you know looking out for your brother, um, the golden rule, and the idea that we get second chances, that when we mess up our life, we get a chance to have another life to improve our situation until eventually we become one with the one or one with God or one. This first awakening opened up the doors to great new learning, um, but it wasn't really the end of my journey. Um, even though I found something that I really liked to Buddhism, um, it still wasn't right. Uh, it took me much, much longer in my life to, to keep going further and then start questioning why are there so many different religions? It was just the beginning of my journey, and a very important beginning, but still just the beginning.